Hello, and welcome to AIM Lab AIM Tips. My name is Ron Rambo Kim, and in this video, I'm going to share a few tips and techniques to consider when gripping your mouse. But before diving into the intricacies of the grip, the first thing I would recommend before starting your AIM practice is to loosen up any tension by lightly squeezing your thumb and fingers across the hand. When finished, open and stretch the hands as wide as possible and then crunch them into a fist. Repeat this until you feel like your hands and fingers are warmed up. On those colder days, you may need a little more time to get the circulation flowing, while on other days, you may feel like your hands are already alive. Because the only connection to the mouse is through the hand, the positioning of the fingers and palm on and around the mouse, in addition to the amount of pressure, is of utmost importance. And because the combination of everyone's hand size, mouse shape, and sensitivity being different, the mouse grip should be a personalized position, or in other words, how I grip the mouse might not be the best for you. For this video's aim tip, I want to talk about the fingers in particular. They can be completely straightened, completely curled, and everything in between. The fingers can also be independently straightened and curled, which is most helpful to adapt our hand to the various contours of the mouse shape. When the fingers are completely extended, there is a consistency here that can be repeated, as the fingers are always locked straight. However, at the cost of losing freedom of motion as the fingers are rigid and have no room to maneuver. There are quite a few world-class professional gamers who play with this grip style. On the flip side, the benefit of curling the fingers is that you do have more maneuverability by using the extra space between the mouse when aiming the micro precision motions. As you can see here, I can quickly shift the mouse in any direction just by using the curl of the fingers, whereas with the fingers straight, this is not possible. When the fingers are heavily curled, you may lose consistency as the fingers can now all independently shift and curl on their own, which makes it more difficult to place all five fingertips with the same placement on the mouse. Another thing to consider is that when only the tips of the fingers are on the mouse, there is less surface area contact, which means less stability. With the fingers straight, there is much more stability as more of the whole length of the fingers are in contact with the mouse. If you're someone who hasn't found their perfect grip, I'd like for you to use your hand-eye coordination and feeling to experiment with various combinations of the curling and straightening of the fingers. Think of the mouse like an oddly shaped pencil that you have to figure out how to draw with. A well-balanced grip should feel secure and able to shift in any direction without any unintentional shifting or slipping of the mouse. Be creative, as there is no right or wrong way. All that matters is if it feels right and works for you. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. If it was, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our social channels to stay up to date with gaming performance content.